thank you very much for your presentation. I'm now I'm going to ask you some questions about your work with the UNCCD. Um, so at first, Raisa, when did you first hear about the UNCCD? Um, I first heard about the UNCCD last year. It was during the United Nations Day here in Bonn. So since I studied geography, I am always interested about everything related to environmental issues. So when I heard about the UNB, I said, okay, let me go there and maybe I'll find things interesting. So I went there and I saw the UNCCD stand. So I went to them and they told me, oh, you study geography, this is nice, this can be very interesting. And uh, my specialization, since I'm actually doing my master's, is sustainable land use. So it perfectly fits to what I am studying. Okay, and uh, why did you finally opt for working with this organization? Well, that's a very good question. And uh, as I said, I am actually specializing in uh, sustainable land use. And this is actually the aim of the UNCCD, Sustainable Land Use Management. So for me, it is uh, my field of study, and uh, I would like to broaden my knowledge in sustainable land use. Thank you. And uh, now Ines, uh, did you enjoy your time with your internship so far? Yeah, of course. I mean, you speak at the class, but I, it's been just one month and a half that I'm here, and I have like two months left. So, but yeah, I really enjoy it, and what I enjoy the most, I think it's a um, team I work with, like, because it's, it's very multicultural. We have like Raisa from Colombia, Lina, uh, <laughs> sorry, Raisa, Raisa from Cameroon, <laughs> Lina from Colombia, Jorge from Spain, uh, and also Anna from Hungary. I am from France, and we also have new interns from new countries, so I can speak every day like a lot of languages. I really like it. Okay, that sounds great. And uh, what was your most memorable experience so far? <laughs> Uh, definitely today, I think, like uh, this outreach in uh, Konings Winter School. Uh, it was my first event as an intern at the UNCCD capacity building place, and it was really a good experience. So. Um, now, Raisa, do you think the education of the younger generation is the way uh, is the right way to solve environmental problems? Well, thank you for this great question because I had it uh, a few minutes ago and I didn't have the opportunity to answer because the students were with me. In fact, um, I think it's one of the best way to combat uh, this education because through young people we raise our needs. So if we educate the young generation, we will make them more uh, conscient about what the planet is actually facing. And uh, as you can see today, they started planting trees and they were really interested. So I think it's one of the best ways. Yeah, I also enjoyed it very much. Oh, um, so now finally, uh, Lina, yeah. in which projects did you participate? Well, um, we have done a lot of things as interns. Uh, I have been there one month also, like these two girls. And uh, the main project that the USD has would be capacity building. So that means um, collecting opportunities, as we have already talked about. So that is one of, of our main projects, how to collect information to share it with uh, not only students, but every person who is interested in sustainable land management, but also we are indirectly participating in other projects um, that uh, are taking uh, place in the USCD, for example the Great Green Wall. We are indirectly always uh, contributing to all these projects by spreading the word, because I think that by creating awareness we are actually working in each and every project and making it more available for everyone to be able to participate and do something. And do you notice any improvements in your organization's work so far? Yeah, that is a bit hard to measure. Um, of course, I cannot say that we saved the world in one month, but 
uh, one of the biggest accomplishments and one of the biggest improvements that I can say is that I myself have now more aware of the problem. So if I'm aware, I can also make other people aware. So the first change and the first improvement will be myself because now I know more about it. So now I can uh, do more about it. I, before I used to think, yeah, we have to take care of the environment, but if it goes beyond reusing and recycling and just planting, it's a decision of every day. So there can be a lot of improvements with a lot of big projects, but for me the improvement is that each one of us and all the interns and all the people do everything every day. Um, because these small actions are what in the end are the biggest improvement of our organization. Okay. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank, Thank you. you so much.